everyone and welcome to this club guide video for the Labor Day tournament. I'm going to go over rookie, pro, expert and master in this video, pointing out my suggestion in which club to use in the upcoming tournament. The video is sponsored by Golf Clash and Playdemic, so it's time to just let's go! So, we're going to start off with rookie division and as you can see here, we do have uh, different type of holes to play. We do have uh, like th three separate tours that we will have to uh, value in when it comes to practice. First, we can start with the Milano. You can find the Milano on hole number one, hole number two, and hole number six. Those you can find for rookie division, which is playing from the front tee, and that is tour number four, six star hotel. When it comes to the Santa Ventura, hole number four, hole number five, and hole hole number three. So three, four, five. Uh, those you can't find from Fronty in the regular tour play. They used to be on tour number two, but not anymore. So if you want to play them, you need to go to tour number seven, the West Coast Pro. But that is from the second tee. So have that in mind if you go uh, if you would be going in there. And last but not least, we do have the Southern Pines, hole number seven, hole number eight, and hole number nine. Those you can find on tour number six. For, uh, if you want to play from the front tee. So, we're going to start off with hole number one, Milano part five. We're going to start with the big dog, and the big dog is going to, of course, be uh, like a, a, a club to use when it comes to the par fives, most likely. And we do have uh, either left, either right, or in the middle here. The thing that kind of gets in the same way, no matter what type of, the, uh, no matter what type of, um, side you're going to play with is that you most likely are going to need some distance if going for the pin especially if you do uh, go short that is going to definitely be a big dog suggestion so i i suggest you keep it that way so you're not uh, have to risk that much with your drive hole number two we do have the backbone you're going to play with a long iron on this part three a milano and either you go for the rough bump or you go play left or right side. But the backbone, in my opinion, sure, you can play with whatever uh, long iron you have. But backbone has a decent amount of backspin. That's the thing that we're looking for in hole number two. Hole number three, we say the backbone again. And here you can see it's a part four. And this is a very tough part four. Uh, but in my opinion, this is, a, this is a situation where we're going to put ourselves up for a long iron towards the pin. Then it's important to have at least two to five bars of backspin depending on the wind that we're going to have and therefore I would like to go with the backbone in this suggestion. Hole number four, another part three and another course that we're going to play from uh, yeah, like from a front tee of course but also with the long iron. So then it's the backbone again and the reason we go with the backbone as much is that it, that is the most common long iron club that we do use in the game. Especially from the front tee and like for players that play in the rookie division. But have in mind that you can play with another long iron as well. But like if we realistically value in the clubs that the most players are using, then the backbone is going to be our suggestion here. Hole number five, Santa Ventura, par five. And Santa Ventura par five, we're going to choose the Viper as you can see here. The reason we're going with the Viper is that we kind of we don't need to use a club for this par five with a lot of power. So therefore, we're going to play with the one that do have more accuracy and more ball guide, uh, ball guidelines. So then the Viper is going to be the suggestion. And then you maybe think like, can't I use a sniper instead? I have it in level five, level six, level seven. Sure, you can do that. But when you play in the rookie division, you most likely not have it in that level. Then I feel that the Viper is going to be a better suggestion there. Hole number six. Here you can see I have the big topper and also the thorn. So. It all depends on what type of wind we're going to play with and also what type of ball you want, you're going to play with. Because if you're going to play with the big topper and you play with a Titan Kingmaker or a Berserker, you will be able to hit your ball to the... You can't see it on the picture here, so check out the text guides or the video guide. But you're able to play on that like very tiny, tiny piece of fairway. So you can bounce yourself like very, very close to the green for your drive. If you're, uh, if you're not going to use, like for an example, uh, any power ball, you're going to use a basic ball, a mauling ball, then I suggest that you play on either right side or left side using another driver, so you put yourself up for a uh, short iron towards the pin. And then in my opinion, the thorn is the better one, because then you can go directly onto the green, so you don't have to play uh, on that bumpy fairway that you do have on the left, on that, and also on that slight, uh, slight less bumpier fairway that you do have on the right. 
Hole number seven. This is going to be a tough one for many players, especially when you when you play from the front tee. You most likely haven't been coming up to tour six or so just new to tour six, and therefore this shootout is going to be very tough. You need a ball with side spin. That is important. Quasar or Katana, in my opinion, and then you can play with the Viper. You can play with the Big Dog. You can play with the Horizon, the Hammerhead, the Sniper, the Guardian. It doesn't really matter. The importance here for me is that you do have a slight amount of curl at least to the right. So don't go with a club without curl. But the Viper in my opinion is going to be the most common one to use on this particular hole. Hole number 8. Here would you have the Viper or the Big Dog. It all depends on which way you're going to play this one. For an example, if you're going to play left side and we do have some headwind, then I would go with the Big Dog. If I'm going to play right side and going to be able to have an open shot towards the pin, then I'm going to go with the Viper. So the wind decides a lot for this one, but of course, if you do not have uh, one of them upgraded, then I would go with like a Viper as a general club here. This is going to be a very tough course uh, for, for us if we cannot go over on the right side. If we just can go over on the left side, it's going to be very, very difficult for us. Last but not least, we do have uh, hole number 9, the Southern Pie is a very long part 5 for being able to read for the green in 2, then we need a big dog for our um, for our second club. We, I do want you to use the big topper as a driver, I kind of am mistake for not putting it here on the guide, but I want to have the big topper here. So I can bounce over the first bunker in the middle with as much topspin as possible. That will, together with the big dog, make it possible for us to read for the green in two. If we're not having a big dog and we maybe pull off a viper or something like that, then we're going to have a big, big problem to read for the green in two. And I do see hole number nine to be some sort of a keyhole here for rookie division because some players will not pay attention to the clubs that you're going to use. So therefore going to choose the wrong clubs and go with more uh, yeah, clubs that you do prefer yourself but here in my opinion big topper big dog and then going to get the eagle so that was rookie division and now we're going to go over to pro and expert and here you can see pro and expert on the screen and yeah as you can see it's basic it's the same holes it's not going to change anything more than the thing that changes is that you're going to play from the second team so second tee all uh, often requires more distance towards the shot. It's going to be changing the clubs that we're going to play, especially on the par threes, as it's going to be uh, be uh, instead of a long iron as we had on the a long iron that we had for the front tees for rookie. Then we're going to have a wood club, etc. So. If you're going to practice these ones, you're going to have to say for the Milano holes, hole number one, hole number two, and hole number six, you can go to tour number nine, the six star hotel, for the Santa Ventura holes, uh, so that you have three, four, five. Then you can go to tour number seven, the West Coast Pro, and for the Southern Pines, hole number seven, eight, nine, then it's tour 11 and the US Champions Pro. So we're going to start off directly with hole number one, the Milano part five. Here I do suggest the sniper or the big dog. As you remember from the rookie division, uh, I do suggest the big dog there. But here I do suggest the sniper as well. The reason for that is that we're most likely going to play with a power three ball here when playing from the second tee. And also going to be having a driver that gives us more distance on either in the middle, the right or on the left side, uh, depending on the wind that we're going to have and how we're going to play it. So therefore it could be enough with a sniper and of course the sniper is going to be much easier. It's going to get much easier to, uh, to get it to drop from Albatross. Tough part 5 to start with though. Hole number 2, Milano part 3 and here I do want to go for the rough bump if I'm not having a massive tailwind or a massive headwind then I would, would uh, go either left either right side if I would be having that type of wind. The sniper it's my preferred club. I could go with the Guardian as well if I would be having a massive uh, massive tailwind in my back. But other than that, it's the rough bump that is going to be the, the game maker here in my opinion. Bounce it in the rough, use a couple of bars backspin, let it slide in for a hole in one. Hole number three, uh, the Goliath or the B52. It all depends. I would have to say what type of club you have upgraded. If you do have the Goliath level 6, 7, 8, I would prefer that over the B52 level 4, level 5. So 
you know, and le Goliath level 8 I would be, in my opinion, better than the B-52 level 6, but the B-52 level 7 is better than any other long iron out there. So this is going to be a tough part for of the Santa Ventura. We do want to try to reach over to the tiny bit of fairway on the right. If we do have headwind that can't do that, then we need to play ourselves short and it's going to be a wood club that needs uh, power. But uh, in the best of the all best of the scenarios, then we do uh, we do want to play with a long iron to try to bounce this one up to the green to to make a possible eagle. Hole number four, here we do have the sniper or the guardian. Uh, the reason I put them both here is that the wind is going to decide how I'm going to play it. Even though you have a lot of backspin with the sniper, if we do have a massive tailwind in our back, then the guardian is going to be a better club for this particular hole. Because if you, if you just come in slightly wrong with your adjustment and you come in too hot, that is going to give you a very tough time to make this ball stop on the green, even with max backspin on the sniper. And then you potentially put yourself down to the left side of the green and have a pot that you need to overpower. So we need to think about that when going to this hole. So I hope that we're not getting a massive tailwind, then it's going to be the sniper every single time. But the Guardian as a security club for us all. Hole number 5, Santa Ventura part 5, this is going to be an albatross hole if we do get the win for it. If we do have tailwind or we do have some tailwind slight crosswind to the left, then we're going to try to go for the green in one. If we're not having that, then we're just going to play ourselves straight forward and then have a sniper towards the pin for a possible albatross there as well. I do hope we get some funny wind here so we can actually go for green. Hole number six, here I do say the Thor's hammer or the thorn, or sorry, not or, but and the thorn. The reason I do have the Thor's hammer here is that if you do have the Thor's hammer level five, six or seven, then you're going to, go then you're going to have a tremendous amount of top spin on your club. That is potentially going to help you get to the green in one, or at least close to the green on the fairway just next to the green by bouncing on that fairway platform that you do have just before the bunker in the middle. If we do have a massive tailwind, then we can go full blast, straight forward, try to use the rough on top to get the roll out to the fairway. But I don't think we're going to have that. I do think we're going to have some slight tailwind, then that is going to be possible. Players that do have an upgraded Thor's Hammer or an upgraded Apocalypse is going to have a huge advantage here with the top spin if we do have the wind to get into that platform. If you don't have that, but you still have a tailwind, some type of tailwind, then you can go with a big topper. If you do have it in upgraded as level 4 at least, with a berserker ball, slight overpower, max top spin, then you could get the same result. Uh, other than that, if we do not go straight forward, then I'm going to go right or going to go left, then it's going to be a thorn directly to the green. Hole number 7, uh, sniper or the quarterback, it depends on the wind we're going to have. If we do have headwind, then we're going to play with a the driver, then it's the quarterback. If we're going to have tailwind, then we're going to have uh, the, um, the sniper. If we do get crosswind, then we can decide uh, what club we want to, you, uh, want to go with. Check out uh, the whole guides and also the playthroughs for the Southern Pine Hole, where I'm more detailed in my explanation on how to play those holes, because they are tricky. Hole number 8, we do have the sniper or the guardian here. Depends on how high you have your guardian upgraded, in my opinion, if that is going to be a suggestion. But in general, the sniper is going to be a very good club to use here. If we go left side, then we can use the amount of curl that we do, like the tremendous amount of curl that we do have on the sniper, combined with the backspin to curl this one up to the green or go for the rough bump straight to the pin. If we do have win for it, then we can go over on the right side, put ourselves up for an opportunity to go for the green in two and give ourselves uh, the possibility to uh, to drop an eagle from distance. The Guardian is good because of the backspin, and I do suggest that you go with clubs in general that do have a lot of backspin, like for an example the Saturn or the Tsunami as a long iron, or the Thorn, uh, not or, and the Thorn as a short iron. Last but not least, we do have hole number 9, we do have the Southern Pines uh, part 5, a Sniper or the Big Dog, it depends uh, It depends on the wind that we're going to have. If we're going to have a chain wind or some sort of wind that we can reach over the first bunker, then go with the Big Dog so we can reach for the second shot. Other than that, you can play with the Sniper because then you really just, put, uh, just need to put yourself on the fairway for your second and then for the green for your third shot. Tailwind in any form or a crosswind, then we're going to see this as an eagle opportunity. 
If not, then we're going to see it as a birdie hole. So this was Master, uh, sorry, Pro and Expert Division. Now we're going to go, uh, last but not least, with Master. I'm going to go through it fairly quick. I'm going to start directly with that you can't practice, uh, practice any of the holes uh, for Master's Division uh, because they are played from the 30. So check out late, like earlier streams and stuff like that on the channel to, uh, to get some information there. So hole number one. Guardian or the Cataclysm. Here I do value to get some distance for my wood club. If I do have an upgraded um, Guardian and we do have some crosswind, then I would go with that one. Other one, other, other than that, then I'm going to go with the Cataclysm because I'm going to have some top spin as well with that club. Hole number two, Milano part three, sniper or the quarterback. It all depends on how you want to play this one. If we're going to play with a power three ball, you can bounce it on the fairways there, either left or right. If we do go with a win five ball, then we're going to have the possibility to rough bump it. And also then we're going to reduce distance and then we're going to play the, the driver on either right or left side depending on what you choose the rough bump absolutely in play if we do have some crosswind in my opinion hole number three sniper or the cataclysm the same here we're most likely not going to reach over to the platform on the right then we're going to play short and then you do need to go with a sniper max upgraded or a cataclysm or also a guardian with the distance that they have on the uh, that it has you need backspin, that is the problem with uh, having a low level cataclysm, so I would suggest the sniper or the guardian as a general club if you're not having the cataclysm in level 6 or more. Hole number 4, we do have the sniper and the quarterback here and it all depends on the wind here again. If we do have uh, some massive chain wind we're going to play with a wood club, other than that we're going to most likely play with a driver, then it's the quarterback for the backspin uh, and um, and the accuracy. The rocket can be uh, applied as well if we do have some really crazy wind uh, to play with. Hole number five, the sniper is going to be the club. Massive tailwind, then we're going to try for, to go for the green in one. Other than that, we're going to play with the sniper, try to go for an albatross from distance. Hole number six, the Saturn and the Thorn. Here, we are most likely not going to be able to reach in the middle, so it's either left or right side. And then from that distance, we're going to have a long iron or a short iron. Then we need backspin to get the uh, the green as as playable as possible. So then it is Saturn and the Thorn, in my opinion. Last but not least, we're going to go over the the three most difficult holes. I will have to say, as we're going to play from the 30, and as so many hasn't even been playing it on uh, from second tee, the Sun and Pines is going to be very tricky. First, we're going to start with the Thor's hammer or the quarterback it depends on the wind i would see the quarterback as like a mini sniper in my opinion as going to play the quarterback if we're going to have some type of chain wind if we're going to have headwind then i'm going to play with a thor's hammer uh, in my uh, so it depends in my opinion hole number eight sniper or the cataclysm here uh, it all also again it depends on the wind if we can reach uh, a like okay we can take it as a reference the last time we had this hole we had massive headwind then we needed to play with a world club that gave us a lot of the uh, distance uh, other than that the sniper is definitely going to be playable choose a long iron and a short iron that do have a lot of backspin hole number nine we end up with uh, a very long hole here if we're going to have some tailwind we can reach over with an upgraded apocalypse or an upgraded thor's hammer that do have a lot of top spin uh, with a berserker ball to reach over the first bunker that is definitely going to be the play if we do get that win other than that we're going to play ourselves up short either left or right then it's going to be the same type of play uh, that we're going to have uh, from uh, second tee which is going to be a sniper play so ladies and gentlemen this was the club guide video check out the time description sorry the video description down below for direct time stamps uh, for like rookie, prone expert and master so you don't have to listen to rookie if you don't want to or master if you don't want to it's example wise check out patreon.com slash golf clash tommy for text guides and also for for training sessions in the end the video is sponsored by golf clash and playdemic and i would like to wish you the best of luck in the labor day tournament